The African Union is considering beginning the withdrawal of its military mission in Somalia as from October 2018. According to the African Peace and Security Council, the two-year period between now and then would allow proper establishment of necessary facilities for the handover to the Somali forces. The details of the two-year schedule are contained in a revised concept of operations which the Council approved last week during its 608th meeting in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia. This move means that AMISOM should start pulling out once the Horn of Africa nation has a new stable government. The concept of operations document was revised following complaints from Kenya that it lacked a clear coordination provision and that it did not indicate an exit strategy. The date of uh, you know, October 2018 has been floated, but you would understand that the implementation of, of, of such an extra, it's, it's tentative, I should say, it's just indicative, if you like, um, would be contingent on a number of, of, of factors. Uh, first of all, the issue of security is primordial. Um, the elections are being prepared as we speak for uh, August, uh, September, and AMISOM uh, is working together with the Somali uh, National Security Forces to ensure that they are able to provide maximum security to ensure uh, the elections take place in an environment that is uh, peaceful and conducive. Well, let's talk to CCTV's Robert Nagila now about this possible withdrawal of African Union troops from uh, Somalia. Uh, Robert, uh, thank you. And the African Union's uh, troop withdrawal from Somalia within a two-year timeline, is that a feasible timeline? Well, Beatrice, that's the million-dollar question that everyone's asking at this particular moment. Um, the people from troop contributing countries have basically been asking uh, when the AU will come up with an exit strategy, and this is what the African Union has now put forward. However, it's dependent on a number of factors, primarily one, a credible election in September in Somalia, and two, resources. Now, the concept of operations document that you were just referring to is basically an, a mandate of the African Union's mission in Somalia. Now, this particular mandate, like you said, has been revised before, is what is now looking at this withdrawal. Now, when they say 2018, they don't necessarily mean that um, this withdrawal will happen immediately. 20, we hit 2018 October, where, that's where, where the, when it's proposed um, that they begin handing over. Uh, they give a two-year period. Now, in that two-year period, uh, the uh, AMISOM is then supposed to hand over assets and facilities to the Somali National Army because the hope is that the Somali National Army will then be stable enough and be able to provide enough security for the whole of the country. However, there's, some, there's also one very, very important aspect uh, within this particular document. It prioritizes the uh, retaking of more territory from the militant group Al-Shabaab. So they're actually envisioning that by the time they get to that particular point, every single aspect of this program will be in place. They'll have taken most of the territory from Al-Shabaab and will be able to proceed uh, with a well-coordinated handover. Well, uh, up until this point, though, uh, Robert, AMISOM has been struggling to meet its budgetary uh, allocations there. Can AMISOM, though, complete uh, its capabilities or its responsibilities under those constraints? And that's the big question here, uh, Beatrice, because we've seen Uganda and lately Kenya also threatened to pull out uh, because of resources. We know that the European Union has already cut uh, the budget that it used to give to AMISOM. We've had of complaints from troops in Somalia, AMISOM troops, that they've not received the allowances and some even salaries. So these are some of the factors that need to be looked at. And if this withdrawal is going to happen in a well-coordinated and organized manner, then resources will be required because there's also the question of assets. We know that Kenya, Ethiopia, and Uganda uh, were to set up uh, an aerial force uh, and they were to contribute um, aerial assets uh, to this fight against Al-Shabaab. However, that has not happened. Uh, it's been uh, affected by the lack of resources again. So resources is a very important aspect within this whole program. And if the resources are not enough, I'm afraid that this program won't work as envisioned by the African Union. All right, uh, Robert Nagila for us. Uh, thank you.